Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. For the first time ever, the 20-week moving average, which in a bull market historically is our bull market support, the area we need to maintain to continue on with the integrity of the bull market, has crossed 30,000 US dollars. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Not only has the bull market support band, which is a combination of the 20-week SMA and the 21-week EMA, passed $30,000, it's actually now at $31,769, and the 21-week EMA is at $34,000. $365. So what does that mean? Well, it means in the event of a correction, right? We do this every week. We look at where the bull market support band is. So we're prepared in the event of a correction. We're not saying a correction is imminently about to happen, but if we had a major correction, this is where we would want the bulls to come out to hold the line. So far, this is continuing to just, con you know, it will continue to go up until we do have a correction. Um, but right now, Again, it ranges from around 31.8K up to 34.4K. So a pretty nice range there, almost uh, almost $3,000 range. Now, you might wonder, why is this important? Well, the first thing we can do, as we, as we usually do, is we look at the last cycle, and we see that you know, the 20-week moving average was more or less held as support, right? It was more or less held as support for the duration of the market cycle. Okay, and we had you know several significant drops that took us back to the 20 week moving average, some that were 20%, some that were 40%, some that were maybe 30%. But again, we had several of them, and uh, we know that we would likely have several every cycle for that matter, right? 40% corrections are, are, are par for the course in a even in a bull market. So you, you're gonna get nice corrections that take you potentially back down to the 20 week SMA. Now, if you go back a cycle before that one, let's look at the BLX and we look at it, it wasn't quite the same. Okay, we held it as support sort of here, okay, right here. We also held it as support here. And we also had a wick that came back and held it sort of as support right here. However, we did briefly drop below it in this region. And this region was after a major move up, you know, starting at around $13 up to well over $270 or $267 or so. So it was basically a 10x move, followed by a fairly significant retracement that was unable to hold the bull market support band. However, we actually picked ourselves up by our bootstraps and continued on. It didn't actually take that long to continue higher. So the last cycle had a fairly well-defined market structure. And we kept testing the 20 week moving average every step of the way we would move up and then we would go back and test it, make sure everything's good. Check it, check that box, continue higher. We did this six or seven times, okay? And then la the cycle before that, it was, it was a lot different. We had these, we sort of had these manic moves with these blow off tops followed by a cool down phase. And we more or less were, were right in the 20 week moving average in this phase as well. And then we would move up rapidly from $5 up to $15, so this was a 3x move. I mean, it's nothing to scoff at. We came back down, more or less tested our support, continued up, back down to test it, and then continued on higher. So the first thing we should note about this cycle so far, if we were to consider this, obviously is our cycle bottom at around $3,100, we might say, well, so far, we broke through the 20 week moving average, and then we ultimately came back down. And you might just consider this to be more so the cycle bottom as opposed to this one, even though by the strictest definition of cycle bottom, it would be the $3,100 here rather than $3,800 that happened over here. But I think this correction was much more substantial than that one because I don't feel like very many people expected this one. A lot of people, a lot of people, you know, were, were pretty bearish over here, right? I mean, we were just going down week over week. A lot of people were pretty bearish. This one right here, we were actually trying to hold the 20 week moving average. So people were somewhat hopeful. And then that hope was just ripped away, right? It was just ripped away and it wasn't given back for quite a while. So what happened was we actually got back above the 20 week. We trended sideways until we got into basically near the 21 week EMA back up. We came here. We said, okay, guys, this is a big test. And we had three things that needed to happen before we could say the bull market was going to start. We needed a golden cross, which was the 50-day going above the 200-day. We got that. We needed the 
we needed to be above the 20 week moving average, which that happened over here, we got that. But then we also wanted to hold the 20 week moving average as support. And we knew that it was going to take more than a few weeks to prove it. It took six weeks and then we were off to the races. And since then we haven't really looked back. Now at this point, the reason why this is important is because even in the event of a dump, even in the event of a correction, the bulls would likely try to hold the line at the very latest at this bull market support band. This is where I imagine a lot of people would come out with fresh powder and start buying Bitcoin if they're not buying it right now. So this is the area I think everyone should keep an eye on. We'll keep it up, we'll update it every single week so that you guys know where we are. So then the back of your head, you know, okay, if we have a correction, where might the bulls come out and attempt to hold the line if in fact we're able to drop to that level. Now, that is one way to look at the market. Another way to look at the market, like we discussed, is it could be that this cycle is more emulating two cycles ago rather than the prior one. And if that's the case, if that actually does happen, then it would not be surprising to break below the 20 week moving average for a period of time, regrouping and then continuing higher later on. So sort of having intermediate bull markets and bear markets within say one market cycle. If we consider this to be the cycle bottom over here, and we and the strictest definition of say just being above the 20 week, this was clearly a fairly, you know, this was a bull market, some might call it a, you know, a, a, a bull market rally during a bear market. So a bear market rally where we're, where we're actually rallying, but things are still relatively bearish. But we're just sort of looking, we're trying to look at it from a from an unbiased perspective. So looking at it like, okay, well, we had a we had a bull market. And then we actually had a, a short bear market. Okay, and then we had a bull market over here, so far. And and so the idea is in the event of a correction, if we're unable to hold the 20 week moving average, it might not even there's a decent chance it's not the end of the market cycle, even in that scenario, right, even if that were to happen, maybe we would just have a slight bear market again before continuing, continuing on uh, much higher. So what I would say is that again, right now, the 20 week SMA is at 30 or is at uh, 31,000. 767 and the 21 week EMA is at 34,363. We know that these are going to move up each and every week. So we're always going to keep an eye on them so that we know where it is in the event of a dump. And if we do dump there, I imagine there will be a lot of quote unquote emergency videos coming out. I'm here to tell you it's not an emergency. Okay, it's not an emergency if that happens. And everyone would just need to stay calm if it does happen and continue the good fight time is on our side. So be prepared for anything. Let's hope it goes up. If it doesn't, we're prepared for the downside risk, which always exists. And even in a bull market, at the very least, it's the 20 week SMA, or if you prefer the 21 week EMA. If you guys like the content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 200,000 subscribers. Um, you know, we're, we, we've been growing relatively quickly. I've never seen the channel gain this many subscribers so quickly. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. We also have the altcoin season sale. You can find a link to that in the description below. If you want to lock in the lower rate, we're going to close that in about seven days. So sign up, check it out. You get access to a lot of content. We'll probably do a video here in a few days showing exactly what you get access to so that you guys are aware. Subscribe, turn on your alerts. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.